name is Julie Sokolo, and I'm here to talk about the new student dialogue I went to a couple weeks ago. The one I went to was on disabilities, and what we first talked about was the difference between dialogue and discussion. And we concluded that a dialogue is when everyone has their own opinions and sides and doesn't really see other people's point of view. But in a discussion, everybody is open about their opinions and takes everybody's thoughts into consideration. And it's more people talking than rather arguing and sticking to their own sides. And overall, in my new student dialogue, my group somewhat achieved true dialogue because we were all just talking openly about topics and bringing new things up and new perspectives. But some people were still reserved and there was still some awkwardness and not so much participation as there probably should have been. In my dialogue, there were a lot of active voices. A lot of people were leading the discussions and contributing a lot to the group. And our facilitators brought a lot of new points and a lot of new things I never thought about before, especially pertaining to people with disabilities. But there still were some reserved voices and people who didn't really participate that much. In the dialogue, I tried my best to be open to everybody and try to give my input when I was asked and when it was appropriate. But overall, I took a more laid-back approach and was just listening to everybody talking and just hearing out what they had to say. In our dialogue, we had to rank uh, um, ourselves about our culture, our ethnicity, our religion, and things like that, and things like mental health, and our age, and our um, gender, which I never really thought about ranking before, how important all of those things were to me. And it was really interesting to hear other people's perspectives and what things are important to them and how they grew up. For example, the, the man I was partnered with was very religious and was very into going to church and was very into his sports and very into his culture. And I, it was just interesting because I'm not really that religious, so it was different to hear someone else's perspective. And I'm not especially into my culture as I guess I should be, so it was eye-opening, and it was also eye-opening to see how much I value everything in my life, like mental health, my gender, my age, and how important and how prevalent those things are in my life every day. I never really thought to rank everything in my life before. I just assumed it was all on the same playing field, but now that I think about it, everything pretty much like has its ranking in my life and I'm glad that I went to this so I can see how things really are. What I thought was really interesting about my dialogue was the fact that we watched videos about people with disabilities and how they go about living their everyday lives which I never thought how people with disabilities have to live their lives and how much of a struggle it is every day for them and how inconvenient it is especially on the Clemson campus. We talked about how in some halls there's only one wheelchair ramp and that's just not fair to them because it's easy for us to get around Clemson and it's not easy for them to get around because the whole campus is huge and it's all hills and stairs and there's not that many accessibility for people who have handicaps. And one person told the story how they were waiting outside one of the halls and it was raining and a person with who was in a wheelchair, was outside for like 15 minutes and nobody held the door open for them. And finally they're like, oh, like, do you need to be, like, what are you, like, are you waiting for someone? They're like, oh, no, like, I'm just waiting for someone to let me in. And that's just, like, eye-opening to me because I never thought that those things happened at Clemson. I never really considered how difficult it is for someone with disabilities to live their life compared to how e easy it is for me to live mine. Which opened up my eyes and made me realize how lucky I am that I'm not having a disability and how hard it is for all of them to go on. And we also learned about the life program at Clemson, which I didn't know happened before and something that I really want to get involved in. And overall, just my, the new student dialogue opened my eyes to different perspectives of, for people and what they've been through in their lives and how hard it is for other people to go through their lives every day and how lucky I am that... I am a Clemson student and how 
I don't have a disability and that I'm just unlucky to be where I am today, but also what I can do to help people and just not to be judgmental and stereotypical and just be open-minded to everybody and just try my best to keep that way. Thank you.